I turn my gaze and my thoughts away from the sand and rocks and look towards the foaming sea. Tomorrow, if the winds blow fair, I'll be sailing off in a dhow. Tomorrow, I'll be taking to the sea, as once did the great sailor Ahmed ibn Majid, the inspiration for that no less famous character from the Thousand and One Nights, the hero of seven fantastical voyages, Sinbad the Sailor. Tomorrow, I have an appointment with the crew who'll be taking me deep sea fishing in the Gulf of Oman. We usually set out at five in the afternoon and come back the next morning at seven or eight o'clock, sometimes earlier, depending on how far we've gone. I started with my father when I was 10 and, well, I'm still here. pulls out, the dream begins, and an adventure is underway. take to the sea, these men are joining a long line of great seafarers, of course, but also of modest fishermen, the workers of the deep, forever casting and hauling in their nets. When we cross paths with this tiny boat, our dhow stops for a moment, as tradition dictates, to say hello. Depending on the sea, it can take hours to reach your fishing spot, and despite the pitching and rolling, the crew tries to keep busy.
If you stop a boat in open sea to say your prayers, they must be pretty important. At least that's what I'm thinking as I watch the captain bowing towards Mecca. There are some Omani crews, but usually they're Indian. Omanis would rather work in the civil service or the private sector, or else they have their own boats. But I'm grateful to the government for bringing us this foreign help. On a big boat like this, I really need my seven or eight man crew. Before you cast your nets, you always have to check under the hold if the fish are taking the hook. If not, you have to head further out and pass the time mending the nets. I've heard tell of the famous Omani sea shanties, and I've often wondered about them. I asked the captain if he ever sings while he works. Singing will give you courage and rhythm. You work more quickly. When you stop singing, that's when you feel tired. You sing to keep your spirits up. I don't actually know why I sing. I used to hear my father singing, so I do like him. And yes, it's a tough job. There's storms, wind, rain, you get exhausted. And then, once you're home, you have to go and sell your fish, then get the boat ready again and mend your nets. Yes, it's tough, especially the nets. The fishing's not going to be great today. These old salts know that you can never take the fish for granted. I'll leave them to their work. I'm moving on. From the desert sands to the cresting waves, by way of the stars that have always guided them, the Omanis, be they Bedouins or fishermen, are passionate about their land and humble. In their desire to make of the Sultanate an example for the whole Arabian Peninsula, they consciously combine modernity with respect for their past. A passing traveler could never grasp in just one visit all the cultural riches of this people. For like the sea, fascinating and mysterious, they will let you in, but on their own terms.